Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to video series two. I pick up where I left off in the first PLC training video, and this time we can talk about I.O. finally. So in the first series we did uh, a pizza oven situation, but everything was virtual. I just used on-screen buttons and things like that. But now, thanks to Beckoff, uh, one of the app engineers I know was kind enough to let me borrow his test stand uh, for a couple weeks to shoot these videos. So. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, other than that, I don't really have an official affiliation with Beckoff, so I wanted to make sure I get that out of the way. Uh, I did use Beckoff quite a bit in my former job uh, as an automation integrator, so I would program servos and motion systems for custom robotics and things like that. So uh, I'm pretty familiar with all of this equipment, and I'm going to hopefully bring you up to speed, uh, maybe not to an expert level, but just where you kind of know what you're getting into, know what the capabilities are of these systems, and uh, you know, hopefully bridge that learning gap that, you know, I the first series was meant to do that, and I think it did as far as the programming side of things go, but this is going to get into the EtherCAT network system, um, PLC open motion uh, control, things like that. So uh, stuff that's very important, and it's not super intuitive. So that's the plan for this video series. Um, I mentioned... Uh, uh, not being affiliated with Beckoff, um, I have just recently quit my day job and started doing automation consulting work. So that sort of freed up a little bit of time and uh, I got my home office set up for this sort of stuff. So uh, if you do find yourself in need of some help, definitely self plug, you know, let me know and uh, hit me with a YouTube message or an email or something like that. And uh, maybe I can help you out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so other than that, uh, yeah, the first video series had a great response. People seemed to really like it, and I got so many nice comments. So I very much appreciate that. And uh, you guys were the reason that I wanted to make this second video is just to, to get some of the stuff out there. So um, otherwise, if you enjoy this video series, just hit like or you know thumbs up on each one of them before it flips to the next one. That helps me promote my videos and things like that. And um, otherwise, this is the last time you'll see me on this video series. It's a little different than the last one. I upgraded my audio, so hopefully that's a lot better. And uh, otherwise, thanks for back off again. And uh, we're going to play around with this servo test bench and move some motors and do some stuff like that. So uh, hop on to the next video and we'll get started.